Come on, guys. Everybody change into the normal clothes. Evian's phone is going off. That's probably the party invitation. I don't think we're going to that, though. It's at 1 p.m. I'll keep it up just in case, because if SimFest don't work out, it's nice to have a party invitation to fall back on. Oh, is Raquel not going? Raquel said, no way in hell am I going, because there's two people I hate going. You know what, Raquel? You be like that. Raquel still want to woohoo Alejandro. She still want to do it. Well, he did say they have a passionate but volatile relationship. Should um Alejandro take this time with Maria to let the kids know then that like we we cheated? It don't have to be a formal conversation. It could be as simple as they start making out. The kids will realize it once the parents start making out. I mean, the kids will realize it the minute that Maria and Alejandro start making out. There'll, there'll be no hiding it. Also, Queen Donna here, and so is um. Buff Johnson, and then there's a man inside. Did he eat that man? Cause Johnson's buff enough to do it. Yeah, now Maria's coming to watch the show for SimFest. Who's next on stage? Okay, he's on the stage. Oh, he's a, he's an acrobat. Okay. Oh oh, he's bending, being very flexible. Oh snap. Okay. We like that. He's still mad that she's in the way. Well, why are you still there, chick? Supposed to move out the way when there's a show going on. You crazy. You, 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 you trying to distract us from the real show. You better be quiet, queen. Okay, that was impressive. Can, can we request things? Big ball bounce? Sure. I don't know what, I don't know what that gonna be. But I wanna see it. I'm a cheer. We're, we're gonna tell him we like him. He's messing up a little bit, though. So we kinda being mean to him. But we trying to be nice, though, now. She's in his way, that's why. He ain't doing the best he can. We try and be nice and pretend we like the show, though. Okay, he's doing a big ball bounce. Nobody's liking it? I think he's doing good. He was making eyes at Evian, and Evian think he's sexy. <laughs> LaDonna, Lord LaDonna Cool. Put down a queen. What in the world? She done passed out? Buff Johnson, you're the bodyguard. Why ain't you helping her? Wait a minute. I'm confused. How come she's out alone with the bodyguard? Where, where's Pity? Wait, is her and Buff Johnson getting it on? Has she seen Johnson's Johnson? I'm confused. I don't know what's happening, but I feel like she out here, she must be drunk. First she watching the show, then she playing the drums, then she passed out in the middle of everything. Is this show still going or no? Cause that show was kind of pathetic. He did the big ball bounce, he did some flexibility stuff, but that was about it. Who's next? Who's the next performer? Wait, was that the end of the show? Is it over now? You know, the show is weird. I think the show is over, the show is done. You know what we can do? We can go to Evian's friend's party. Um, Raquel home alone. Uh, oh, you know what? We're supposed to tell the kids. Let's take the kids somewhere quiet to talk, not to a party. Then again, I'm saying let's go somewhere quiet. There's nowhere quiet that you can let your, your kids know that, hey, we we messed up. We, 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 we slept around on each other, and now we all paying for it. Like, this is a bar. This is a nice-looking place. Can you eat here? It's a sports bar. This might be a good place to tell the family. Um, let's all go here. Go here with the whole group. Not Buff Johnson. And I, I would invite Bryce because <laughs> Evian was making eyes at him. But we're not doing that, though. Evian can meet some men in Bridgeport. Some rich ones. There's a lot of famous rich men on the East Coast. Come along, everyone. We going. She making eyes at everybody. She just a flirtness hoe. What happened to her married boyfriend? <laughs> LaDonna Queen still on her on her stuff. Are we going? Okay, cool. We're going to tell them at the next venue. We're, we're just going to kiss in front of them, and then they'll get the picture. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll understand. And hopefully they're not too mad at us. I'm sure they'll be upset, but hopefully they won't be too, too mad. And I want them to see. I want them to know, because this is going to be the new norm. Wait, is that paparazzi? Dang it. Okay, I wanted the kids to see. I didn't want the paparazzi to see. 
The paparazzi took that picture and then ran away. They got the shot they needed. Kissing pregnant Maria. Kissing Alejandro Solano. You know what? Invite to join conversation. That will let them know for sure what's happening. If they see we flirting, they'll know for sure. She on the phone talking. Get off the phone. Your daddy calling you. Yeah, we missed you at the party. The party's already over? Then we glad we ain't go to your party. Your party ended in less than four hours. That's lame. People taking pictures of us. You know what? We're leaving anyway, so does it really matter who knows what we're doing or not? I don't think it matters. Raquel know we cheated, so who cares if the whole world know? In fact, you know what? I think it'd be like some crap on Raquel. Like, who cares if they know? We're leaving the town. We're right, so why not just be happy then? Forget chatting. Let's just make out right here so everyone can know it. That's right, you got yourself a juicy story now, don't you? Raquel's gonna be taking all that money now they can know. I know Charles is gonna be a set. I'm sure Evian is unbothered because she only cares about herself. But I'm glad we all know. Getting close. Break up. This. Yep, let them know. Not everyone can see we are on a date. Yeah, that's right, look at us. Oh, you, you want something else? You want something else? Look at this. Catch this, photographer. Look at here, paparazzi. You you catching this one? Look. That's right. Baby bump. Bam. Feeling on tummy. Take a picture of this one. Look at us. I hope, I hope you get the good side, though. Come on now. There we go. Take another picture. He writing about us. Okay. If this divorce is going to cost Alejandro everything anyway, then he might as well enjoy it. No more living in secret. Maria is the one that he loves. No reason to hide her anymore. Now you know what? Let's continue to enjoy family day, get some food and get something to drink. Order a group serving of, ooh, pizza. I wanna see how upset with Charles is he? How upset is Charles? Charles doesn't seem all that bothered. Evian's not even all that bothered. Like, she's a little bothered with Maria, but not intensely. Charles don't seem to give a damn. Well, I think that's nice that they can still get along. So where that pizza at? Did he order the food yet or no? Because I said around the pizza. Please. Pregnant woman need pizza now. Kids can order drinks. They with a celebrity anyhow. Charles wants to be a businessman now. Okay. I'm not shocked at all. He's a pretty good kid. Ooh, in fact, I didn't even realize it's late at night. And everyone has to go back to work at school tomorrow. And they're, and they're so crowded, they're not even getting to the food. So, yeah, I think it's time for us to start heading back to the hills and heading on home. How is Raquel doing at home? Raquel has just been playing in the pool all day. Raquel's hungry. Has to go to the bathroom and take a shower. But, like, overall, I think Raquel is happy. She doesn't seem mad. I mean, she's mad from the betrayal. But, like, she's not angry, angry. She's kind of just like, oh, whatever. It is what it is. Doesn't seem that bothered to me. Not particularly, anyway. And I'm going to cancel getting the drinks and all that kind of stuff. Tell everybody to come on home. It's late at night. Need to get everyone in bed. Everyone's motors are kind of jacked up. Yeah, the kids are going to drive home in Evian's car. Maria and Alejandro will drive home together. That, I think that's kind of fair, actually. Anyway, yep. Let's get going. Clearly, the kids will beat us home. They halfway there already. So, like I said, I feel like the kids right now, at least, they, they seem unbothered. They don't seem to really care about what happened with their parents, which is kind of weird. But at the same time, I kind of understand it. They kind of feel like, oh, our parents were kind of dysfunctional anyhow. I mean, Evian knew about the cheating already. So it wasn't even a shock to her, I'm sure. I bet they just never saw it with Maria. So, should there be a new pecking order now? Because how, how are they going to sleep together now? They can't, right? So Raquel going to have to sleep in Maria's bed. Maria moving into the main bed. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. That's how we doing it. Yup. Oh, you know what? 
Should, should we just antagonize her ass? I feel like it. I feel like it. I, I feel like antagonizing Raquel. Cause Raquel thinks she's gonna ruin Alejandro for real. She's like, I'm gonna take all your money and make you sorry. You know what? I don't think he's sorry. I don't think he give a damn. I go on here. I mean, she already knows to the affair. <laughs> She's like, I'm unbothered. Well, you gonna be bothered. Um, cause after you finish in the bathroom and take a shower, you moving into Maria's room. And guess what? They gonna woohoo while you home. They might as well. She already pregnant. Might as well just shove it all up in the face. And guess what? Maria quits as the maid. You want someone to clean this house? You better hire somebody. And make sure this one don't take your next man from you. Well, today was a crazy Labor Day, but I'm glad it happened the way it did. And tomorrow, well, technically tonight, because it's midnight, Charles is going to prom. And then he's gonna age up and be graduating from high school, and then the family is moving. So we only have a couple of days left in this town. Okay guys, so it's the next morning and a lot went down the other day. Obviously, Alejandro and Maria are not hiding their relationship anymore. I mean, they're gonna be out of this town like in the next 24 hours, so it really doesn't matter. Today is Charles' last day of school, you guys. He's graduating from high school tomorrow after he goes to prom tonight. We're gonna age him up and whatnot. Um, even though Maria is not the maid anymore, even though Maria is not the maid anymore, she's used to feeding this family. So she's gonna wake up early and make everybody breakfast, especially since she is hungry. I never got a real gauge on how the kids feel about the parents divorcing. They didn't really seem to care. Like, um, Charles seemed like a little bit like, oh, he didn't like that Maria and Alejandro were kissing and whatnot. But he isn't like mad. He isn't like, oh, he hates Maria and Alejandro now. Like, he still loves them. Yeah, he still loves Maria. He's kind of mad at his dad. He's not really mad at Maria. He loves Maria. You know, um, is anyone else ready to wake up? He's ready to wake up. I'm gonna let him wake up on his own, because we already know when you wake up teens, when they're not ready to wake up, they wake up on the wrong side of the bed, they get all angry and mad, and I don't want that to happen. Evian seems like she's already awake, so she can come to the main part of the house. You know what? She can sit on that couch, because somebody set that booby trap. So, <laughs> let, let her get hit with it. Um, Alejandro's waking up. He needs to take a shower, go to the bathroom. She wants to see him become a genius. I'd like to see him become a genius. I think he is a genius. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was loud, too. It really did sound like somebody farted. <laughs> want to see him graduate. We all want to see him graduate. We're so proud of Charles for graduating. And he's going to graduate with an A. Like, all he literally needs to do is go to school. Oh, he never did his homework, though? Well, it's the last day of school, right? Does it really matter? Let's get her all washed up. Oh, she can't. Let's get her into the bathroom. Um, who else needs to shower and whatnot? She wants to woohoo. It's never gonna happen. Never, ever, ever again. Everyone else is pretty much cleaned up. He's doing his homework because he just finished breakfast. He's not gonna have time to finish it though because his school bus is gonna be here soon. Um,. People have to go to work today. She has to go to work in six hours. She's going to work in six hours. Because today is not a holiday. Because today not a holiday or anything. Yeah, no holidays arise. Okay, so that's his school bus. He's just going to have to finish um his homework at school. It's his last day of classes anyway. So, Charles, good luck on your last day of school. The prom is tonight, so when he comes home, we have to make sure his outfit's cute. I think we made him quit his job. We didn't. Oh, you know what? Um, We're going to make him quit his job. I thought he quit it already. I don't want him having to go to work, like, on his day, like, for prom, because that's going to ruin stuff. I want him to come home and, like, plan his prom outfit. There we go. He's quitting. Now he's going to school. There we go. I know he wants oh he wants a part-time job. We know. He needs to finish that late homework. Um, I don't know if he made 
many teenage friends. I think he made one, and we kind of said she looked like a skank. So we told him not to hang out with her too much. But hopefully he meets somebody at prom. Oh, then again, he's leaving Sylvia. town, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, Maria, you better enjoy your dip in the pool because you're you're never going to have this much fun, like, again. You're like, I'm, I'm guaranteeing, like, you will not have a pool again. Or at least not for a very, very long time. Um, we got bills to pay. Sh she wanted to go make the bed, but she might as well pay these bills. And uh, we might have some more mail, so let's go check that. $2,000 in bills. Well, you know what? Um, There's no sense in hiding the money anymore. We're not hiding, but keeping it in the bank anymore. Let's close this bank account. There we go. So all their money. He wants to be worth a mil. Um, let's see if he gets there. I know one thing. We sold Evian's car. We would have gotten there. Oh, we actually got some things in the mail. Uh, well, let's see what we got in the mail. Charles got a cold now. Great. Alejandro was close to being worth a million dollars. And he's about to lose it all. But you know what, though? I, I think for him to be with Maria, it's worth it for him. I really do think so. He wants to own three venues. He Obviously, he can't do that now. I'm just wondering, does anyone have any points? He has points. We're going to sell these points. And I think that's going to get him to his, like, goal of being a million. Make him temporarily happy. Are we closer to it now? No. We, we still need, like, at least 39 at least. Dang it. She wants to earn a raise. Yeah, everyone should be getting ready to work. You know what? Everyone should, like, go to work early. How about y'all work hard? Both of y'all get on to work. Okay, so the carpools are showing up, but everybody has already left and gone to work. Maria is cleaning the house in her bathing suit. Don't even have to... You know, I think they're so used to, like, hiding things that, like, he's, like, hiding his room. He's waiting for Maria, but he doesn't even need to do that anymore. There's, there's no reason to hide anymore. Um, I'm gonna get him cleaned up. And I'm thinking I might send him and Maria out. Like, they never had, like, a real night on the town. In Hollywood before she's still cleaning the house though she's like determined to clean his entire house but like I said I'm gonna send him out to have lots of fun Charles is gonna go out tonight and have fun but when he comes home we're gonna have him um working on an outfit we should have him like talking to friends and meeting friends when Charles come home we're gonna send him to plan his formal wear for prom that club is open now so I'm gonna send Alejandro and Raquel out they could go to the cube. You know, it would be kind of awkward because that's where, like, you know, he worked there and whatnot. How about we go to the Cobra Room, go to a dive bar. Ooh, let's go to a lounge. How about that? Visit with Alejandro. Charles should be on his way home soon. He's going to go change up his outfit and whatnot for prom. Oh, Maria's, like, maternity, like, wear is cute. That dress is kind of nice. Her shoes don't go with it. I can peep those shoes under the dress, and I don't like it. But it's okay. Oh, Maria didn't clean the whole house. She left, like, a big old thing of laundry, but that's okay. When Raquel and Evian get home, I don't know what they want to do. I guess they can, like, um, eat leftovers. Uh, they don't have a maid anymore. So, yeah. And there's no reason to hire a maid when we're going to be leaving in a couple of days. When we get to Bridgeport, that is when we're going to have to start dividing up the assets, like... Who's getting what piece of furniture? Who's getting what car? Uh, how Exactly how much money will Alejandro and Maria have? Like, that's going to be a big thing. Because Raquel was like, oh, yeah, let's put him in a cardboard box for a refrigerator. Oh, my God, this place is pretty. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'm so glad we decided to take them out. Oh, my God, it looks like a real tiki bar. Oh, my God, this place is so cute. Oh, my God. Is that a hot tub? Oh, snap. This place is nice. Oh, my God. It's like an island getaway inside of the club. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a second floor. Oh, my God. Who thinks of stuff like this? Oh, my God. This is the perfect place to, like, have, like, one last hurrah in LA before we're chased out of this town. 
And even though Raquel likes him and thinks he's sexy and whatnot, like, she don't want to be with nobody poor. Why you think she got with Alejandro? Wait, the duo? Wait, wait, wait. Little? He's dating little pity, y'all. I didn't think he would actually meet someone who was anybody. And to now know that he's dating little pity, like, now, I would feel bad making him leave L.A. 